thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today I'm going to take you guys through my homeschooling curriculum picks for the upcoming school year. This year I will have a seven, four, and three year old. So very exciting preschool, elementary ages. We are learning through play. We are learning through fun, outdoor time, as well as some book work. And I'm just going to share all of my curriculum picks. We are taking an unschooling approach this year as far as just child-led learning. I'm focusing on what my kids know and love and implementing learning through that. I do have book work that we plan on doing, but I also want to just spend as much time outside and in nature as we can also doing educational videos and games and it just kind of do a plethora of things for my kids to learn so it's not just like we sit down and we do book work for two or three hours my little guy's next to me if you guys hear him laugh or anything or make any noises um so I do actually have four kids, but only three are of school age. So my other little guy can't even crawl yet. So he's not quite learning in this way, but he's long for the ride in the carrier half the time. But anyways, it's not just me sitting at the table with my kids, pulling teeth for two to three hours to try to get them to do book work. It just, it doesn't work like that for us. And for our family, that was not working. We are going on our third year for homeschool. And I was just finding that it was very difficult to try to force any type of curriculum set like okay we're doing language arts now then math and science then history it just was not working in that way so as our third year is approaching i feel more confident so as we approach our third year of homeschooling i am more confident than ever that this is the right way to do it for us it works well my kids are excited to learn my son is excited to use these resources he has been begging me to make my video because i told him we can't use our books until i make my video and just kind of discuss my homeschool style for the year and what resources we're using so we're making the video so that we can get into learning and that is what i want for my kids is for them to love learning and to be passionate about what they're learning and if i can tailor that to what they already like it just works out in that way. So the Thinking Tree books are an awesome resource. They are on funschooling.com. I'm going to link everything in the description box below. I just recently found out about these. They are available on Amazon. They are also available right on the website. But these books are an amazing resource. If any of your children suffer with dyslexia or ADHD, which just has any difficulty learning in just like a normal sit down style, this is so fun. And also aligns completely with unschooling principles of child-led learning. So these books, I'm going to flip through, show you guys a bunch of the awesome pages. They just allow you so much space for being creative. They let you draw, they let you take pictures and paste pictures. They prompt you to go to your local library and check out books and you can use those resources and watch movies to learn. Just a super fun way to implement learning and reading together as well as watching informational things and doing experiments and going out like in nature and just bringing your journal along and that is my goal for this year so super excited and i think my son's gonna love it too and then on the subject of science we are doing the good and the beautiful two unit studies that i have so far there is one more unit study that i may end up grabbing but right now i have arthropods and the nature reader there is going to be some really awesome experiments and lessons that go with this we are going to get butterflies this year and i think my little guys are really really going to love that too we're going to watch the larva and the caterpillar butterfly cycle all of that so that's going to be wonderful and then i also have the mammals unit study with the good and the beautiful again i'll link everything below just so you can go to the website and browse anything that you guys see if you see what you like i'm going to flip through this book as well and just kind of show you some of the lessons that will be in there what i did with both of these books i actually ordered and they came as loose leaf books and then your local office supply store will do the binding for you like this you just bring the loose leaf in they'll put a clear cover on and then a back cover as well and they'll bind it for you it was relatively inexpensive so it was totally worth it to just order the loose leaf paper ones and then you just get it bound at a local supply store for math we will be doing the good and the beautiful math one these lessons are so quick and easy my son loves them they're fun they keep his attention and they're just they're fun to do you play games you color you 
do things together. It is very easy. They tell you the directions on what to do for everything. And then it also comes with this awesome math box. It just comes with like dry erase board on the other side of this, a clock on the front. It's got little clocks that you can work on telling time with. It's got some shapes, some cubes, all those things. Another awesome thing about this math box and this math set is that our friends actually gave this to us. They were not using it. It didn't work well for them. So they passed it on to us, which was so generous. I have a very close friend that is also homeschooling and unschooling her children. She has led me to the whole world of unschooling, which was such a blessing because it has made my life 10 times easier to not hold myself to unattainable standards when it came to homeschooling. And so she gave us the math curriculum, which was awesome. We used the good and the beautiful math last year. We love it. So wonderful. So that is my goal for this year as well. Uh, moving forward and I know my son loves it and that's great and like I said my little guys are just in preschool so we're not doing anything crazy so this is really geared towards my oldest son um, when it comes to science and math my plan is to be using the curriculum journal for the nature study and to branch everything off of that and then for math and then moving forward I'm going to show you guys what I do for language arts when it comes to language arts this year I will be using the thinking tree book again I am taking the classical poetry collection and just using this as a core journal and moving forward we're going to do a lot of trips to the library to get books and do things like that to branch off of the poems in here but this is actually going to be our foundation for language arts this year I plan on doing so let me just show you for instance this poem the little turtle okay so it shows you the poem you can color pictures it breaks down the poem with all of the key words which would be similar to sight words if you will when you're reading and learning to read there are places to draw places to color there is room for recitation as far as learning the poem itself and just kind of doing anything that goes along with that so we're going to use this for poetry recitation spelling words reading in general and then i'm also going to have different books that we grab from the library in order to just expand on the lessons that are already in here and we did try the good and the beautiful language arts program for about two years and it's just not clicking it's just not working well so i wanted to do something totally different and between the thinking tree for language arts and science i feel like that is just summing up this year i'm very excited to use these books and finally for history geography social studies whatever you'd like to call it we'll be doing fun with 50 states and the state capitals the state capitals book is an usborne book which is amazing resource it goes through the state the state capital and a bunch of information on the state itself and then fun with 50 states i'm going to show you guys a flip through of that book as well which is just an awesome book that's showing a bunch of the states and interactive activities you can color you can do word searches you can do crosswords they have a bunch of fun facts and i think it's just going to be an awesome way to learn about the united states as a whole Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my homeschool curriculum picks for this year. I am very excited for the Thinking Tree books. I'm, like I said, going to link everything down below if you want to hop on the website and take a look at all the resources I have. I may end up ordering a typing course from The Good and the Beautiful because my son is showing some interest in typing and using the computer, and it's such a valuable skill in this day and age for sure. So I may order a typing course. I really like what they have to offer, so I'm going to put that in as well. And I'm going to also flip through quick um just some different things that i'm using games that i found on amazon i'm gonna put the prices and everything in the description box just so you have a good idea of what there is or isn't for resources there are so many free resources out there or very cheap resources that i'm gonna put in the description box so you guys can see everything we use and love and what works for us and also keeping in mind what works for us entirely could not work for you i know some homeschooling moms that thrive with box curriculum that just works for them and that is so beautiful that homeschool can be such a big beautiful pot of what works and doesn't work for you that was such a weird way to say that but um this guy's getting wiggly so i am going to leave you guys to it to take a look at all the resources i have i'm gonna flip through everything else that i have and thank you so much for watching have a great day and a great homeschooling year